Three years ago, we completed the main task of our life. We restored our territorial integrity, which was violated for almost 30 years. We suffered aggression, occupation, ethnic cleansing, uh, which was a big tragedy for our nation and a big humanitarian catastrophe. When our lands became occupied in the be beginning of the 90s, more than one million Azerbaijanis, at that time our population was eight million, became refugees and internally displaced persons. That was probably the highest per capita ratio of refugees in any country. And at that time, we were very poor. We did not yet start to develop our um, natural resources. We were landlocked, disorganized, and um, the prospects for the future were not very clear. But our people demonstrated strong political will. We tried for many years to find a peaceful solution to the conflict uh, and to put an end to occupation by peaceful means. For 28 years, we were strongly committed to negotiation process, but unfortunately, we clearly realized that by peaceful means, it is not possible to do. So we used our right for self-defense. We used the right which is given to every country by UN Charter, right for self-defense, and liberated our territories three years ago and put an end to occupation. Just less than one month ago, we fully restored our sovereignty over the country, all over the country. Unfortunately, international organizations which were uh, obliged to uh, put an end to occupation did not produce any result. United Nations Security Council adopted three resolutions demanding immediate and unconditional withdrawal of Armenian forces from our territories, but these resolutions were not implemented for 27 years. We implemented those resolutions ourselves, sacrificing the lives of our people. Other international institutions like OSCE had a mandate for negotiation facilitation, but it produced zero result and led to total uh, frustration and disappointment in Azerbaijani society. So our experience of restoration of territorial integrity and sovereignty in a certain way is unique. We put an end to a conflict which was imposed on us. We uh, protected uh, our dignity. We restored justice and international law. And now it's time for peace in the Caucasus. This is our agenda. Our agenda is peace in the Caucasus, peace in the region, cooperation, shared benefits. And um, today we, we demonstrate that. Of course, uh, in order to become really independent, really independent country, we had to have a strong economy. We clearly realized that. Therefore, all our main efforts were aimed how to create uh, such an economy which will be self-sufficient, that will not um, lead us to a kind of a dependence on any global center of power or on any financial institution. And we managed to do it. 